Today's episode is all about the forehand approach shot. We're gonna show you how to handle that approach shot with your footwork and the proper stance. All right, so the first approach shot we're gonna cover is that slower ball. It's short, it's slow to your forehand. You have time to get in there and set up. I'm gonna show you how to handle that ball right now. All right, the thing you wanna know about this slower, higher ball is that you wanna come in and you wanna play it with an open stance. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm back here waiting for that short ball. It's doing my split. Here it comes, I get set, rip that ball and come in. now. Typically, you want to take those approach shots down the line because you want to stay on the same side of the ball as your approach shot, so you're covering the line. But every once in a while, you're also going to take it cross court. Let me show you that again. Waiting for that approach shot, I'm in my ready position. I split, I come in, I get set, and I approach and come in. Now, there's two reasons why I want to play that ball open stance. The first reason is by playing it open stance, I can let that ball come a lot further back. Whereas if I had stepped in and tried to play it back here, I'd be jammed. And by allowing that ball to come further back, I'm able to play it down the line better. My strings are pointed right down the line. A second reason why I wanna play that ball open stance is spin. Because I'm so inside the court and so close to my boundary back there, I've gotta get more spin on it. And by playing it open stance, I get spin not only from low to high, but also by coming right to left across the ball with side spin. Watch for that spin. Let me show you two more. I'm gonna play this one out in front and play it as a cross court approach shot, but with that same side spin, set, cross court. When I play it cross court, I've gotta to remember to get over here and cover the line. So hopefully when I play it cross court, it's a winner. One more approach. I'll take this one down the line. I get in, get set, hold it, and I go down the line and come in. So the reason I'm able to get into that open stance is because the ball is slow, it's a little bit higher, I have time to get up there and set my feet up and get into that stance. And remember, the open stance works great. Number one, I can hold it back here and play it down the line. I can get it out in front and pull it cross court and I can get more spin, which I need because I'm so much closer to the net than I am back there behind the baseline. So with the second approach shot that we're gonna show you, you don't have as much time. They've hit the ball short, maybe you got caught off guard, but you're still in good shape if you can get to the ball in time. It's going to look something like this. As I show you this approach shot, I'm going to be kind of slowing it down so you can see my footwork very clearly. But remember, this is supposed to be a ball that you're running through. You're trying to get as much time as you can. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to take my right foot. I'm going to set it out in front of me. It's going to be in front. It looks like this right here. I'm going to come in. I'm going to set it out there as I hit my approach shot. And I'm going to do that for one main reason. I'm trying to run through this ball and catch up to it as quick as possible to get it as high as possible. If I come in and hit that approach shot and I turn sideways, like this right here, doing that, having to throw my body around, reconfigure my feet, that's gonna slow me down, if not stop me, and I'm not gonna make it to that approach shot uh, to be aggressive with it. So again, I'm gonna set my right foot out in front. As I do that, like this, I'm gonna turn my upper body to make sure I still get a great shoulder turn. So here I go, I'm gonna set it out in front like this, hit my ball, and then I'm gonna follow my ball to wherever I go. So the next time that you get that short approach shot, make sure that you lead with your right foot so you can continue running through the ball, you can get there in time, and you can hit it aggressively. All right, so there you have two different forehand approach shots, both hit with the open stance. Remember that open stance is allowing you to get to the ball quicker, and it's allowing you to play the ball down the line or cross court much more easily. All right, so what you guys did not see was how long this video took. We had planes, trains, automobiles, screaming kids that we had to wait for, but we got it done. So make sure that you hit the like button for this video here. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you all again next week. See you next week.